Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the step-by-step -step breakdown of how I made this boxer animation project from beginning to the end. And also by the end of this video, I will refer the tutorials and provide the links for the techniques I used in this video. So watch till the end. At the very beginning of any project, I do some research on the topic and pick up my pencil and a paper and do some basic rough sketches to put all the ideas on paper. For the boxer character, I took some references from the legendary boxers such as Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson. So I watched some of their boxing clips and did some thumbnail drawings for the key poses that I want to add in the animation. So these are the key poses that will be used for the reference for the final animation. Then I started thinking about the character design. So I started doing some rough sketches to implement the character design in flat style because I want to create this animation in flat style. So now after finalizing everything, I immediately jumped into Illustrator to design the character. To keep things simple initially, I simply used the basic shapes with black strokes and white fill to design the structure of the character first. So after the overall proportion of the character and the basic structure is completed, I proceeded with adding more details to the character such as adding the boxing gloves and uh, some structural reference for arms, legs and the other details. So now after the overall structure of the boxer is complete, I started adding colors. So I tried out different color palettes. For this illustration, I decided to go with a bright theme. So I picked some color palettes from Pinterest and Adobe Color. Once the color selection is complete, I started adding more details to the character. Then I proceeded with the background element illustration in the similar process. So here I am with the illustrations that I would need for this animation project. Then I started separating the layers as per my requirement to prepare the file for animation in After Effects. Now let's check out the After Effects workflow for this project. In After Effects, I started with the rigging process. So at first, I rigged the face of this boxer to animate it in fake 3D. For the face rigging, I used the Dwig Bezier plugin. So in Dwig, I used the Dwig connectors. I picked a 2D slider for this one so that I have an option to animate the face character both in X and Y axis. So I parented all the facial elements with a null and then created three set of keyframes in both an X and Y axis and then linked the properties with the slider in X and Y axis. Now after this, the character's head is fully rigged. So to animate the face of this boxer and move it in fake 3D, I only need to move the slider controller in the direction I want it to move and here it's turned. Then I moved on with hand rigging. To rig the hands, I used Dwig Bezel plugin again. So I picked arm structures to rig the arms, then animated the hands accordingly with the Dwig controllers. Followed the same process for the leg as well. This time I picked the leg structures. After that, I parented the arm and the thigh structure layers with the chest. So then I parented head with the neck, neck with the chest and then chest with the spine and spine with the hip layer. Now this boxer's character is fully rigged to animate. So here, first I animated the boxer's footwork animation in a loop in a separate composition. So it consists of a little jump and a bit foot movement. So first, let's understand how to animate a jump. A jump animation consists of a total 8 key poses. These key poses are very important to animate a jump properly whether you are animating in After Effects, frame by frame or in even in 3D softwares. So it starts with a neutral pose, then the character anticipates. Where the character bends a bit, then pushes the ground with a push pose. So where the character pushes the ground to take off. Then the mid-air, so this is basically the maximum height the character reaches in the air. Then the contact pose where the character starts landing on the ground and then the recovery pose where it passes through the neutral pose and a little bit overshoot and then comes back to the neutral pose. I have a detailed tutorial on this topic so I will be referring all the tutorials and the techniques that I used in this video so watch till the end. So I have taken consideration of all these key poses while animating the boxer's footwork drill. So I wasn't too precise with these key poses since this jump is too small and the height is very little. So I implemented the push pose properly to make the jump look more natural and less floaty. After that I proceeded with the punches. So since the footwork animation is in a loop, so I duplicated this comp and removed the loop expression from this composition and then kept the first and the last frame same and matched it with a frame 
from one frame of the loop animation to make the whole animation continuous. So after the boxer animation is complete, I proceeded with the punching bag. First I rigged the punching bag to give it a feel of rotation. For that I picked a 1D slider from Dwick connectors to rotate it only in X axis. Then to distort the punching bag after the impact, I used pin tool to distort the layer so I can added some pins and then converted the pins into bones with the help of the Dwig PSL plugin and then added rotation keyframe and then after that offset the keyframes to add some follow through. And here is how it looks. Ok so these are the steps that I follow through the project and the clip is ready to render. So that is it for this video. I hope you learned a few important tips and tricks to help you in your projects. So if you want to learn how to create a flat style illustrations like this then you can check out my illustration tutorials where I have explained the process in full detail. So I will be linking it in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. If you want to learn how to rig and animate a character with the Twig Basil then again you can check out my videos on character rigging then again I will be providing the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. And also if you want to learn how to rig and animate a character using the rubber hose to plugin which is another useful plugin for rigging and animating a character then you can again check out my tutorials I will be providing the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. Also if you want to learn how to animate and rig the face of a character with the Dwick connectors then you can check out my tutorial link from the description or you can click on the i button to check out the tutorial. Lastly if you want to learn how to animate the eye blink in After Effects then again you can click on the eye button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial and I will be providing the link anyway so you can check it out from there as well. So that is it for this video. If you like the video then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques then make sure to comment down I will be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then goodbye.